Lions can kill both hyenas and wild dogs. Being larger than both but in fact much larger than the last ones. There are studies that prove that wild dogs in fact try to avoid both hyenas and lions. The elusiveness of the wild dog is well known. Because they are team players, they are more concerned with other members of the pack. They never leave anyone behind. Wild dogs are herd animals that hunt in packs. This allows wild dogs to kill animals five times their own size. African wild dogs are notoriously successful, with more than 60% of their chases resulting in a kill. A lone lioness is frequently attacked and killed by wild dogs. There are simply too many documented cases of lions killing wild dogs. The alpha male African wild dog can be pursued and killed by the lion pride, which has a significant impact on the entire pack. The diets of lions and wild dogs are very similar. They eat gazelles and other antelopes, among other things. They have to eat against each other because their tastes are so similar. When there is a conflict between the wild dog's pack and lion's pride, almost every time lions will defeat the wild dogs.
If African wild dogs are caught by a lion, it is certain that they will become the lunch. When circumstances are not favorable and one of their members is killed, the member's wild dogs pack can only watch from a distance. The rivalry between lions and wild dogs has been going on for thousands of years. And they are able to survive until now in their own unique way. You have witnessed a great battle between lion and wild dogs. The ranges of hyenas and lions are very similar geographically. When there are conflicts, the hyenas usually win because they have their clan to fall back on. With a heart twice the size of a lion's, incredible strength, jaw pressure reaching 1000 psi, and intelligence comparable to primates, hyenas are more than capable of fending off and holding their own against lions. When it comes to scavenging, lions are very similar to hyenas. Lions have been known to follow hyena calls and use their massive bodies to literally drive the much smaller hyenas around. That is why hyenas, as pack hunters, take advantage of their numbers. Hyenas were known to kill lions and carry their bones back to their dens during the Pleistocene epoch. Furthermore, Several of the lion bones show signs of having been chewed by spotted hyenas. Sections of lion skulls have been cracked off, lower jaws have a regular history of breakage, and limb bones have been nibbled, all of which line up with hyenas' unique body dismantling techniques. When feeding on lions, the feeding hyenas did not do anything unusual.
The pattern of damage on the lion bones is identical to that found on horse, rhinoceros, and elephant bones, implying that the hyenas continued to use the same mechanism for dismantling bodies. That's why, unlike other domestic pigs, they don't appear to be at ease. Warthogs and wild boars are known to take mud baths. This, however, is only to keep her cool and rid her skin of parasites. Warthogs can defend themselves against any predator because they live in groups of 15 to 20. While defending, it uses its long and deadly teeth to harm or kill the enemy. <laughs> 